Well, we're heading out to check a couple of crab traps. Oh, there's a manatee. Uh, I gotta slow down. Manatee just popped its head up right there. So, I've got two crab traps I set last night with some leftover fried chicken. Maybe they like fried chicken better than regular chicken. I don't know. We're going to find out. Last time I set the crab traps out, all we got was one stone crab and one blue crab. So we had a little treat, but not much. So we're going to... So right now we're coming out of the canal. Straight ahead of us is the Intracoastal Waterway and also the Mosquito Lagoon. Go with some pelican looking for uh, some mullet. It's high tide right now. Next month, I hope to get into flounder gigging and shrimping. But we haven't had a cold front yet, so the water's still warm, still pretty murky. And uh, not the ideal conditions for, for that yet. So now we're entering the back country. Mosquito Lagoon. We got a dolphin that just came up over here. There's some dolphin, mosquito lagoon dolphins. Hopefully you can see it. That looks like they're feeding on mullet. Some pelicans over there on the oyster bar. Average depth of the lagoon is about three feet. Most places that I go is one to two feet. There's a lot of sea trout, redfish, jacks, sharks, snook, mangrove snapper, flounder, ladyfish back here. It's full of life. It's a beautiful place. These guys are fishing the blue hole. My wife is driving the boat. Say hello, Dell. Okay, we're gonna pull the first trap here. Going to empty it if there's any crabs. If it's still got bait, we're just, just going to throw it back out again. If it's got nothing, we'll try a different sp spot. I've never put the trap here before, so... There's so many places you could possibly catch crabs here. There, there goes a night heron. Black crowned night heron, I believe. So many places you could put traps here, you just never, never know what, uh, what you're gonna get. Might get something, might get nothing. Might get a whole trap. Can you grab the buoy, dear? Just pull it up on the deck. Okay. Yeah, just pull it up, sweetie. Just pull it up. Let's see what we got. Oh, looks like we got some crabs. Oh, yeah. I like that fried chicken. 
Yeah, they do. So, nothing real big. Hmm. Okay, let's go check next one. Still some bait in there. So, let's go check the next one and then we'll figure out what to do. We've got six crabs. Okay, that's right, I put it in the back country here. Okay, coming up on trap number two. Yeah, sure, dear. Let's see. Let's see if we did good here. Looks like there's something in there. Oh, no, I don't know if that... Yeah, this one's long just because if I put it in the intracoastal. Okay. Let's see if we got any here. I think we're spooking redfish back there. <laughs> Let's see how we did. Can you get it? We only got, we got two. So we didn't do as good here. That's a female. I don't know what the other one is, but we still got some bait left. Okay, so let's go out here and we'll, we'll throw back the, the females and keep the males. Okay, so from the two traps, we caught a total of eight crabs. Out of the eight, four of them were females, and we went ahead and let those go in the canal. It's good conservation to let the females go. Crabs aren't very big, um, but there is not a size limit on blue crabs in Florida. So you can even keep the smaller ones. They still taste really well, or really good. <laughs> And uh, hopefully we'll have some more blue crabs in the traps to add to this for dinner tonight. Well, sorry I couldn't show the fight, but uh, this trout ate right at the right at the boat, <laughs> so wasn't much fight. Uh, oh, there he goes, catch and release. Nice little sea trout. Doesn't go. There you go, buddy. Well, I'm back here in the skinny water. Caught that one little trout right at the boat. <laughs> Didn't even have a chance to fight it. Hoping there were some, uh, I've caught redfish back here before. In fact, now I just caught an oyster bar. Lovely. Let's see if I can get my uh, swimming mullet bait back. <laughs> I don't know how close I can get to this oyster bar. Uh, I'm up on it now. See, you can't water so filthy back here. There we go.
No. Now isn't that interesting? Oh, I caught a nice oyster. There you go. Here's some Mosquito Lagoon oysters. Check it out. That's actually a legal size. That's decent. Take that home and eat it tonight. That's a legal size. That's a legal size. But I'm not hunting oysters. I'm working this little mangrove island. Last night I was out here on the other side of this and I caught a gator trout. Not a monster gator, but about a 24 inch, 25 inch trout. That's a really nice size. A drag peeler. So it's got a little wind today, so I'm trying to work the back side of this. See if there's any fish sitting up in here. Pretty simple bait to use. You just cast it and reel it in. <laughs> you don't need to jerk it, it's just a swim bait. It's got a little paddle tail on it and that sends out a, a vibration in the water. It's, it's got a little weight in it too, so it sinks fast. Trout like a little bit of current, so there's an outgoing tide. So I'm hoping that. Uh... Oh, there we go. Ah, had a bite. A swing and a miss. Oh, look at that. Well, bit my tail off. So that's probably a bluefish, maybe. I don't know. Trout. Not bad. I seem to really like this little swim bait. There, catch and release. Uh, this little swim bait kind of looks like a mullet. And that's what's running right now. So it seems to be working well. Trout here. On the swimming mullet again. Not a very big one. But here's a little trout. Little baby. <laughs> uh, settle down. Settle down. There you go. And the last time I tried to pull, pull a fish out of the water here, a bull shark tried to grab, grab my fish and uh, missed my hand. So I'm a little nervous about washing my hands here, but I'm gonna give it a go.
We're going to check this crab trap again. We got six crabs out of it earlier today. See if we have any more. Might not have any. I don't know. Oh, just spooked a, probably a nice fish right there. Definitely wasn't a mullet. Let's see here. I can get this. Uh, there we go. Actually got three more crabs. That's good. Yeah, one really small one I'm definitely gonna be letting go. So that gives us six crabs to eat tonight. And uh, we'll see what the other one has. All right, the second trap. Let's see if we got anything. Doesn't look like it. Uh, uh, one little crab. All right, I'm gonna let him go. got some hermit crabs. <laughs> so let's get rid of the bait. There's the bait. Come on, dude. I'm trying to let you go. And I got this other little one. I got out here. Well, here's the result of today's crabbing. We got uh, six male crabs. One decent sized one right here. And I'm gonna break them down. And we're gonna have this as an appetizer tonight. Some beautiful Mosquito Lagoon blue crabs. <laughs> 